Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome to this edition of Wise Conservatism's Video Site Chat for this June the 26th, 2011. Imagine an opportunity for the masses with no chance of failure and a 90% success rate. That was taken from an advertisement on the internet. That is one of the ways that the left and Obama is spinning their and his web of deceit to the American people. The quote sounds good, doesn't it? But if you look closely, it doesn't jive. If there's no chance of failure, then why is there only a 90% chance of success? Hmm? I first heard this, and it sounded good. That is how the left does it. They take what they want, knowing they can't get it, so they water it down. Add truth to it. Put a little bit here, a little bit there, and they keep watering it down so it is diluted enough so the people won't perceive the lie that is in it. They get that passed, and then the next time they add more of their lie to it and patiently get what they want, eventually. The saga of the captain's incompetence goes back many administrations on, the left, on both sides of the aisle, but they all stem from the same thing, the policies of the left. The liberal left has been using this lie process for generations now. And we just kind of sit back and just watch it happen. They are patient. They're patient to get what they want because they know that eventually they will get it. And they get it, they do. We, on the other hand, are not that patient to keep our freedoms, which is why we are losing them. We need to be as patient as the left is, or we will continue to lose our freedoms till there are none left. The war for our freedoms is ongoing, and we will never be more than one generation away from losing them. The freedoms we enjoy are not free. They are constantly having to be fought for. The left continues to show us that, but we will be what? But we need to be watching. Something that was said a long time ago, and I remember my dad saying things like this: If you tell a tiny lie, and continue with telling that tiny lie, after a while you can add to it because that tiny lie becomes what is perceived as the truth. The left is now getting away with things that 20 years ago would never be considered because they were wrong. The trouble is, they are still wrong, but not perceived to be. We have seen this kind of thing that with changes to the Constitution over the last 20 years or so. One of the big things that is happening now is Obama going into Libya without congressional assent, consent. He says he has every right to do so, but the Republicans are finally standing up and saying he doesn't. Here is what the Constitution says on this. In Article 1, Section 8, 15, the Congress shall have power to provide for calling forth the militia to execute the laws of the Union, suppress insurrections, and repel invasions. 816, to provide for organizing, arming, and disciplining the militia, and for governing such part of them as may be employed in the service of the United States, reserving to the states respectively the appointment of the officers and the authority of training the militia according to the discipline prescribed by Congress. Obama has, says he has a right to send their military into Libya. The Constitution, I think, says otherwise. Another section of the Constitution that has been done away with but by the lies of the left are the ones that have to bear that have are the ones that say that we have the right to have and to bear arms in Chicago it is now illegal for the public to have arms to bear to bear arms and to have guns in the constitution in the bill of rights amendment 2 it says a well regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That means it can't be done away with. But in Chicago, the left has effectively said to the Constitution, you're wrong. The people cannot bear arms, and they have gotten away with it because the people have allowed it. But the saga of the captain's incompetence continues, from Carter on with a slight detour during the Reagan years, and then it continued. 
but right now the worst of the bunch, which has always been Carter, is being eclipsed by Obama himself. It seems that no matter which party is in the White House, we have incompetence in one form or another. Right now we've got incompetence on almost every aspect of it. Right now we have a whole new crop of people coming up from what seems to be from the grassroots part of the country telling Obama that we are not going to put up with this anymore, though they too lack in some areas. I guess we can't expect everything, huh? But we have to make sure that Obama is another one-term president like Carter was, who will see from the outside his dreams of socializing this country come to a crashing end again, like they did when Reagan took over. But that is where we have to stop this trend towards what this country is not. After Reagan, we were fine for about 10 or so years. Then we started drifting towards what we have now. We have to stop this le leftward drift because there will not be many more before we conservatives and the freedom-loving people of America will have to find another place to live or we will be jailed or killed for our ideas of freedom. Freedom is a concept alien to the left in this country, and they have been working hard to destroy freedoms by telling that little half-truths like the one I started this post with. They are all out there. You just have to be listening with a tuned ear and a heart tuned to freedom to hear them. Because if we don't, the free America that we enjoy will be a thing of the past, just like the left wants. This is Robert the Infidel Guarding with this in with this induction of Wise Conservatism's video side chat for this June the 26th of 2011. God bless America. God bless Americans. God bless our commander in chief to do the right thing for once. And God bless you all. Have a good day.